Hello everyone, welcome to NAS Unboxing. I'm Sam. Today we are going to unbox the TS251B. The TS251B is a two-bay high-end home NAS, and this is also the first two-bay NAS that can support the PCIe expansion function. Let's start. Underneath the polystyrene, there is the NAS, then the Ethernet cable, power cable, screws, and the user manuals. This is the TS251B. It uses a dual-core Intel J3355 Celeron processor with the clock speed up to 2.5 GHz. And it comes with 2 GB or 4 GB memory as standard and can expand it up to 8 GB. The front is fully covered, so it provides a better dust protection. And here are the status slides for the hard drives, and here is the power button. Down here we have a USB 3.0 port and a one-touch copy button for you to transfer files from or to the NAS. On the rear of the NAS, you have all of your usual and unique features. There are three 3.5mm audio ports for your microphones and speakers. There are three USB 2 ports and one USB 3.0 ports, providing enough ports for your various devices, including a mouse and keyboard if you want to directly play the virtual machines that are hosted on your NAS. This is the HDMI port, network port, fan, and a power socket. And this unique space is for installing a PCIe card on the NAS, which is normally a feature that only in high-end NAS models. This is the quick installation QR code, allowing for easy setup of the NAS. Just connect your NAS to your network, turn on the power, and scan the code for the installation. The PCI slots allows you to expand the core functionality by adding certain cards. Add a network card to add more network ports or to upgrade the network speed. And a QNAP QN2 card to install M.2 SSDs into the NAS. If you need to use more USB devices, you can add a USB card. Add a wireless network card to your NAS as a wireless access point. If you are looking to upgrade to a 10 gigabit network, QNAP provides various affordable PCIe adapters to NAS and your PC, and a 10 gigabit switches. The TS251B has many ways to protect your data, including the full protection of snapshot. Snapshot can help you protect your content of files from accidental deletion or malware attacks. You can view the contents for restoring the individual files, or you can restore the entire content of the NAS if needed. And up to 1024 snapshots are supported. If you are looking for a high-end NAS for home use, the TS251B provides everything you need. You have a PCIe slot for expanding core NAS functionality. The front cover can protect against dust. The HDMI port supports up to 4K output. There are five USB slots that support a wide range of devices. Snapshots for dependable file protection. The TS251B runs QTS operating system that can provide a wide range of functions for file management, backup, search, synchronization, and multimedia. It also supports virtualization station, allowing you to host and use various virtual machines. This ends the introduction of our TS251B. You can find more information of our wide range of products at our website, qnap.com. Subscribe to our channel for more videos, and we will see you next time on NAS Unboxing QNAP Live Broadcast. Hello, everyone. Thank you for choosing Asus Store. This is the quick start guide for the AS40, AS52, and AS53 series of NAS. Let's get started. First, open the box and take out your NAS. Flip your NAS on its side and take out the hard drive base. Insert any extra RAM into the slot at a 45 degree angle and press down when inserted. Allow the latches on each side to click in. Place hard drives into the caddy as shown. Align the holes of the hard drive with the caddy and secure the latches on both sides. Push the hard drive into the NAS and close the lock when latched.
plug in the included AC adapter and Ethernet cables into the NAS. HDMI connection is optional. Press the power button. After turning on the NAS, it will beep as follows to let you know that NAS has started up successfully. Thanks for watching. For creative professionals, teamwork is an essential part of any production. And that's where the MyCloud Pro Series comes in. With centralized storage and easy sharing, team collaboration is simple. The MyCloud Pro Series works with Mac and PC drives and XFAT devices, so you can import files in a single move. Just plug in a camera or external hard drive, and with the click of the built-in copy button, files transfer automatically. To back up your files, use Apple Time Machine for Mac OS and WD Smartware Pro Backup Software for PC systems. Once you have your files on the MyCloud Pro Series, you can share high-def media and give your team access through MyCloud.com or the MyCloud mobile app. When a team member is done working on the project, they can save it right back to the MyCloud Pro Series through MyCloud.com. Now you can easily share your finished projects with clients and your entire team. The MyCloud Pro Series features hardware transcoding and a downloadable Plex Media Server, so everyone can smoothly stream HD video wherever they are. MyCloud Pro Series, the core of creative collaboration. Installing a NAS is actually a lot easier than you can imagine. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to set up and install a NAS along with its dedicated operating system DSM and basic configurations. Here we are going to unbox a DS1019 Plus. After taking it out of the box, please check if it comes with the following components. One AC power cord and adapter. Installation guide. Two RJ45 LAN cables hard drive tray keys, and 2.5 inch hard drive screws. Before connecting to your NAS, you need to install hard drives first. Pull out the drive bay, remove the fastening panels from the sides of the drive tray, place the drive into the drive tray, and then insert the fastening panels to secure the drive in place. If you're using 2.5 inch hard drives, you need to use the 2.5 inch hard drive screws to secure the drives. To learn more about hard drive compatibility, please visit the link in the description to check the full compatibility list on Synology website. Insert the drive tray back into the drive bay until you hear a click when the tray is locked into place. You can use the key to lock the tray to prevent pulling out the hard drive during operation. Connect the AC adapter to the power port of the NAS and use the LAN cable to connect the NAS to your switch, router, or hub. Please make sure your NAS and laptop are connected under the same domain. Now, press the power button to power on your NAS. To find your NAS via Web Assistant, enter the following URL on your browser, find.synology.com. If the NAS is connected to the same domain, your DS1019 Plus will be found. If you cannot find your NAS with Web Assistant, please visit the link in the description to download Synology Assistant from Download Center. Click Setup to enter the DSM installation page and click Install Now. Please note that all the data in your hard drives will be erased. Click OK to install DSM. During the installation process, please do not switch the power off. The NAS will restart automatically right after the installation, and you will hear a short beep when it's done. 
Now you have to create your DSM administrator account. Enter the server name, username, and password. You need to use these credentials to log into your Synology NAS and its corresponding services. Click Next and select an update frequency you prefer. It's recommended to automatically install the latest DSM version to make sure your NAS is always up to date. Click Next. Click Skip this step for now and we will explain how to set up Quick Connect later. Click Yes and the DSM installation is now complete. Click Go to start using your NAS. If you're using the NAS for the first time, you need to create a volume to store all the packages and files. Here we're going to create one using Synology Hybrid RAID or SHR. If you want to know more about storage pools and volumes, please visit the link in the description. Open Storage Manager and select Volume on the menu. Click Create and follow the instructions from the wizard. If you need to manually select the RAID type, please select Custom, or you can select Quick to maximize storage capacity with SHR. Click Next. If you have four or more hard drives, select SHR2 to provide two drive fault tolerance. Click Next. Then select the hard drive you wish to create the volume with and click Next. Please make sure you understand that all the data from the selected hard drives will be erased and click OK. Now you will need to select a file system. BTRFS is recommended because it can provide more advanced features to your NAS. Click Next and Apply to finish the settings. Once the volume creation is complete, the system will automatically run a parity check and you can still use your NAS without any interruptions. Now we will guide you through how to set up a Quick Connect ID to connect your NAS without complex network configurations. To get started, you need to have a Synology account. You can register anytime from account.synology.com. With a Synology account, you will be able to access all Synology-related services in one portal. Go to Control Panel, Quick Connect, Enable Quick Connect and log into your Synology account. Enter your preferred Quick Connect ID and click Apply to finish the settings. Now you can access your NAS anytime and anywhere with this Quick Connect ID. Synology NAS is an all around solution for all your storage needs. Open Package Center where you can find and install a variety of packages such as backup collaboration, multimedia, and so on. Besides Package Center, you can also download the corresponding mobile apps via Google Play and App Store. With your Quick Connect ID, you can connect to your NAS and access all these services and files anytime and anywhere. We hope you enjoy the installation of NAS. To learn more about Synology NAS, visit the links in the description.